This is Sarah Lewis with the Weekly Update, where we look at this week's biggest headlines. Today, on Season 1, Episode 7, we will be discussing the recent situation involving pop musician Prince suing rapper Jay-Z for not having permission by his estate to play his musical catalog. The state of pop musician Prince is suing rapper Jay-Z's title music streaming service for copyright infringement, saying... It streamed Prince's catalog without permission. The singer's record company, NPG Records, said in an, a federal lawsuit filed in a Minneapolis federal court on Tuesday that Prince gave permission to Jay-Z's Rock Nation, which owns title, to only stream s- songs from one of his albums. According to the Star Tribune, title and NPG entered an agreement on August 1, 2015 to stream his newest album, Hit Run Phase 1. Title only, get given ex- only gave exclusive rights to the album for 90 days. The lawsuit claims that Title misinterpreted that agreement and exploited many of Prince's albums. Rock Nation claimed that Prince gave permission to Title in both an oral agreement and a written agreement. Betty Beasley, a resident of Southfield, Michigan, weighed in on the recent scandal. She said that if Jay-Z can show documentation from Prince himself, then he still had that right. So if there are any doc- documentation that shows that uh, that they had Prince's both oral and written consent, then it would be okay. If he had, he had something to show, yeah, that he was given that kind of authority to do that, fine. But now, whoever, who has Chris's estate? Who does it go to? I think it would be his family. Right. So, the bottom line is, um, nobody was using it, and so Jay-Z went ahead and used it. Which, which I think he had no right to do because, you know, the state is in charge of that catalog. So, you know, what, whatever they say goes as far as the catalog is, is concerned. You know, just take Whitney Houston, for example. You know, um, Pat Houston is in charge of Whitney Houston's estate. And, you know, she makes the decisions on where Whitney's... Um, music is going to be available. She makes the decisions on, you know, what what music streaming services can, can stream and what they can't. And, you know, they have to go through her. So even if Prince is dead, you know, he, he still didn't have the right to go over his head like that. No, he should have been talking to whoever has but I, I don't feel that he would he would know what to do and maybe they gave permission do you understand what I mean? right but him being in the business for so long why would he want to do something like that without some go ahead somebody. Yeah, the situation seems a little strange. Yeah, it does. I just can't see him being a businessman himself wanting to create some illegal kind of situation for himself. So, which side would you be on? Would you be on Prince's side or Jay Z's side? I would be on the legal side. (laughs) 
you know, an oral statement would have to be witnessed by somebody and, you know, that wouldn't hold up in court. So you're saying that it would have to be written down Mm -hmm. to, to have some proof of it? He said he was given that permission orally and in writing. So right. he has to have something in writing. That he had uh, permission to use that. You have to look at, you know, that. Why? He wouldn't have gotten it in writing, though. With him being a businessman. Right, he's a businessman. You know, business deals uh, go crazy anyway. You have to have something to prove yourself. To take you to court. Make you pay a whole bunch of money if you don't have um, things in writing and stuff. Anything that a person can make a lot of money off of. Right. If Prince gave Jay-Z permission to play Prince's entire catalog, then there is no case in my opinion. The state just can't come out of nowhere and claim that the decision was never made unless there is legal proof, such as a document that says that. But if it is proven that Jay-Z decided to play Prince's entire catalog without permission, then he is definitely wrong for that. As a businessman who owns not only title, but a record label, clothing line, and a nightclub, he should have understood business decisions like this. It seems as if Jay-Z is trying to make an extra buck off of Prince's death, which is unfair and completely unethical. So that is it for this week's three-part podcast, The Weekly Update. Make sure you tune in every weekend for updates on the biggest headlines.